It's been a sad week. I thought that we had hit a low, and I thought if there was any uh, uh, confirmation needed that, that civility and decency had left Ottawa, uh, that it had come when Ralph Goodale was exonerated but uh, received no apology. But this week, the insinuation uh, in the House about a member of Parliament, Navdeep Baines, uh, I think Canadians can see that that's reprehensible, it's inexcusable. At the very least, I thought the Prime Minister might apologize today. He hasn't, and I think that that's shameful and disappointing and does, does kind of uh, uh, cast in disrepute even further how people feel about their elected uh, politicians. I think the decent thing to do is to apologize and say I shouldn't have brought it up. You could tell in question period yesterday that uh, uh, he knew he'd made a mistake, he shouldn't have done this. Uh, the papers are full of uh, stories that this was, uh, was not the right thing to do. Uh, and it does impugn not only a member of parliament but his family and it's very sad. It's a sad day and you know politicians only have themselves to blame and particularly the prime minister of the country to stoop this low is shameful. I don't think that most people would suggest that I am a particularly partisan person, and I, I, I don't particularly enjoy the partisan side of it, but listen, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm not naive either. Uh, partisan uh, allegations and shots have been made, and have been part of this place for a long time. But I think uh, what we've seen this last week, coming as it does from the Prime Minister of our country, is really, really disappointing, and I think uh, uh, causes us to probably have hit a low point uh, in terms of people's respect for their elected officials. Well, I think we all know that we need to have a little more decorum. Um, you know, I, I, so I said last year to somebody that they, they asked how would I improve Parliament, and I said I think I'd cancel a question period and have a compulsory nap time instead, because maybe then people would get some rest and uh, have a better attitude about things. Uh, decorum in the House of Commons is a problem. This, this debate, there's always debate, lively debate is good, um, and one has to accept the fact that this is where uh, many decisions are made and, uh, and uh, tempers flare on occasion. But I think in particular for the Prime Minister of the country to stoop this low, to make these kind of allegations, to bring baseless comments into the House of Commons um, is, is a new low for Canadian politics. Well, the Prime Minister proved himself with, uh, with his comments in the House uh, to, to, to really be a demagogue. And there was, the role of the Prime Minister is to provide a certain level of leadership and uphold a certain level of decency in the House. Uh, instead of this, this Prime Minister uh, made uh, thinly veiled accusations. Uh, he uh, did a drive-by smear on another honorable member of the House based on uh, on a uh, newspaper article that had not even been validated. And I think it showed Canadians, it certainly demonstrates to us, that this Prime Minister will say or do anything. He will destroy anyone with or without a cause or fact simply if it is in his political instincts in the, in the short term. So what he did really was beneath uh, what one expects of a, of a Prime Minister. Yeah, he should apologize and, and immediately. He should have apologized yesterday. Uh, what he did was, uh, was, a, a, was really a grievous error and a grievous uh, uh, judgment in terms of um, smearing another member of parliament with really no proof and implying something that uh, uh, is truly false. I've been I've been a member of Parliament for uh, almost 10 years now, and uh, uh, we certainly had a new low in the House of Commons with the Prime Minister's uh, drive-by smear of uh, Navdeep Baines yesterday. I think it has declined actually quite a bit in recent years when the Conservatives were uh, in opposition. Uh, a lot of their questioning, frankly. Uh, uh, violated the traditional rules of the House. Uh, the language they used violated the traditional rules of the House. I think that the quorum in the House is at an all-time low and, there's, and we've got to do something about it. Frankly, the Speaker needs to enforce uh, the rules of the House, I think, more vigorously than he has been.